man. What, you think I forgot about you? Trust me, I need you now more than ever. We gotta get to work. Hacking Tyrell well like you'd think it'd be tricky, but it wasn't. Evil Corp's corporate mail servers, they haven't patched anything since Shellshock. He doesn't even use two-step verification, and his password was just his wife's maiden name in Sweden's Independent State 6-6. Six, six. One six away from the obvious, but still, this is bad noob practice. His life, it's nice, happy, perfect. This doesn't make sense. Did he know I was gonna hack him? What's up, everybody? All right, today we are working on episode two, and in this episode, Elliot is attempting to hack Tyrell Wellick, and in this process, he found that their mail server was vulnerable to Shellshock. And Shellshock was a huge security bug uh, that came out in 2014, and the... Uh, ramifications of this bug were, were pretty massive and the problem was is there were literally millions of computers that were vulnerable to this bug now granted it would only uh, work in certain circumstances but nonetheless highly effective um, so real quick let's just look that up real quick on Wikipedia So we can see Shellshock, also, also known as Bash Door, is a family of security bugs in the widely used Unix Bash shell. Uh, it was first discovered on the 24th of September 2014. All right, and if we look down here, there's different methods of exploiting this bug. Uh, we're going to use the CGI based web server method, because that's what Elliot used in the episode. But you can see there's other potential methods that you could use to uh, attack servers. Alright, so what I have done is I have set up a Evil Corp server. And you can see that's running right here. It has a mail server on it. Um, it has a web server. And what we're going to do is we're going to exploit that server using Shellshock. We're going to pull the password file from that server and then we're gonna crack it just like Elliot does alright so let's go ahead and get started and open up a terminal window and actually before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at the evil corp website and you can see here now even though this says evil corp dash international.com this is not actually on the internet this is a private network that I have set up just for testing purposes um, so don't you know try to access that server it's not a real server I don't even know if that really exists but anyways so here's our server that we're gonna try to hack into so let's go ahead and get to our shell all right so the um, command is rather long so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy and paste it or most of it in here so this is going to send a specially crafted HTTP header to the evil corp webmail server so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the evil corp webmail server right now Alright, so this is our complete command to, to take advantage of Shellshock. And that is assuming that the Evil Corp web server number one is running the vulnerable version. And according to Elliot, it is. And number two, that the script that we're accessing um, will actually send this to the bash interpreter. 
And if that is all true, then this command should run and it should pull the password file from the Evil Corp web server, save it to our computer, and once we have it on our, on our computer, we can then run John the Ripper, which is a uh, password cracker, and we can use that to try to crack the password and get Tyrell Wellick's password. Once we have his password, we can then use that to log in to the E Corp email server. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see if this works. All right. see something went wrong that did not work all right let's see if I mistyped my command here um, echo echo bin cat Etsy password evil corp dash international.com CGI bin login dot email dot CGI signal zero and R P S N V four D. Hmm. I have to say everything looks correct. Um, so I'm not sure what this is all about. So let's do this. Let's delete that. Let's try to run this again. Okay, it worked that time it seems. Let's look. All right, so we actually have some content in our file. So let's go ahead and cat the contents and boom, there we go. We have the password file from the Evil Corp server and we can see right here is Tyrell Wellick's entry in the password file. All right, perfect. So, let's run John the Ripper and crack this password. All right, so we'll type um, John. And we're going to type in the format here. and our file with the password. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enter on this. We're gonna let John the Ripper run through it at a blazing speed, and if all goes well, uh, we should have the unencrypted password for, for Tyrell Wellick's um, email account. And once we have that, we would be able to log in just like Elliot. And bam, look at that. That was pretty fast, um, pretty much instantaneously. And there we have the password for Tyrell Wellick. All right, guys, there you have it. We used the Shellshock security bug to run um, commands on the eCorp email server. And we ran a command that basically um, downloaded the password file from their server to our server. Uh, from there, we were able to pull Tyrell Wellick's encrypted password and once we had the encrypted password, we were able to use John the Ripper to crack that password. And now all we would need to do is use this password to log into his email account. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.